Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is gonna be the much anticipated follow-up review of the custom-built Glock 19 that we had done by Mod One Firearms. If you guys have been on the channel for the last year or so, you'll know that we showed this gun in video and showed all of the cool features that we had done to the gun by Mod One Firearms when we initially had this done about a year ago. We said that we were gonna carry this every day and then come back and do a one year follow-up video just to show you guys how the gun weared. A lot of you guys were concerned about you know, how the texturing would hold up and how the finish would hold up. So this is going to be that video. Now I apologize, it's been a little over a year, but uh, we do take a break somewhere between right before Thanksgiving and a little while after New Year's. Uh, that's just something we need to do to spend time with our family and stuff like that, so we do apologize, but here we are and we are ready to do this one year follow-up uh, review of the gun. So a lot of you guys concerns were how will the texturing hold up? How will the finish hold up? As you can see from the video here, the gun held up very well. We're very happy with how uh, the gun held up. This gun has been holstered and unholstered. I couldn't tell you how many times. Um, and the reason for that is, is if we go to Mod 1 Firearms, which we do that just about weekly, they are a sponsor of our channel, of course, um, just to let you know. So we do go up there quite frequently and they'll have customers come in that you know, want to see what some of the work looks like. So usually when we get there, I'll unload the gun and then I'll put it back in my holster. And uh, as people come in, if they wanna see it, I'll unholster it and of course we'll check it and hand it to them and let them look over the gun because we did have, this is the full tactical existence package from Mod 1 Firearms. And this gun has the moon and the stars is the way that I've always described it. We got everything that we wanted out of this gun and it's a good representation of the kind of work that you can get done by Mod 1 Firearms. So now one of the spots on the gun that actually wore uh, the most and we kind of figured that it would, would be these indexing points here on the side of the uh, frame here. Now the reason that these flatten out is because you're gonna be holstering and unholstering this gun uh, a lot here and this is a outside the waistband holster from Cooks. We carry the gun in many different holsters. Uh, I'll show you guys some of the ones that we used but uh, most of the holsters we use are Cooks. They're also a sponsor of the channel. If you guys want to get something from them uh, there's a link down in the description. A uh, great great holster company. But the reason for the you know flattening out of the indexing points is when you're holstering the gun it's just you know there's no real bump out on the holster uh, for that indexing so it tends to flatten out over time now as you can see the rest of the texturing is in really good shape it's actually broken in um, if you would never have had any kind of texturing stippling done to your gun there is a little bit of a break-in uh, period in uh, my opinion as far as when you get the fine texturing like I have here um, after you carry it a little while it breaks in becomes very comfortable it's still grippy but it doesn't tear your clothes up um, now this particular texturing here, if you're going to get this for a CCW and you wear an undershirt and stuff like that, it will fray the undershirt a little bit when the gun is new. And that's just because it is so tacky when you first get it in sharp. But that does flatten down a little bit and it becomes much more comfortable as time goes on. So right now this is really, really the way I like it. And uh, it feels really good, doesn't catch on the clothing uh, really anymore or anything like that. Now, Mod 1 Firearms does offer a couple of different texturing patterns, and uh, <clears throat> this they have a D and a W. This is the W. This is, in my opinion, what I, you know, this is more of a competition uh, style texturing for me. This happens to be Mod 1. Uh, Pike is the guy that runs that. This is his favorite texturing. And I have another one of my guns here. And let me get this out. This is my Custom 43 that we had done by Mod 1 Firearms as well. And it is wearing a uh, Streamlight TLR6 light and laser, which we'll be doing a video on that here in the near future as well. But uh, you can see this texturing here is a little bit uh, different. And this is the texturing that I really like. This is the D pattern. So you can get the D or the W and I'll kind of hold those up uh, to give you an idea of the difference between those two patterns. And I just really do like the uh, D pattern. It's one of my favorites. So 
Now, here's one of the things is if the gun does start to flatten out and you start to get wear on your slide and you, you know, you're gonna get bumps and scrapes on your texturing uh, just from rubbing up against stuff and things like that. Now you can send the gun back into mod one to have a refresh done, which a lot of people don't know that you can do that. They don't know that you can refresh your texturing and uh, stuff like that, but you really can. And it basically, you know, makes the gun pretty well new again. Now, if you're just gonna send in a gun and you can't send in your gun and have them do a refresh unless they did the initial work. They do not work on other companies uh, work. They just don't do that. And most other companies won't do that either. So, but if you had it done and you want to just send in and get your indexing points freshened up because they flattened out over the last year or two, you can do that. If you're going to send it in and just have something like that done, most of the time they may charge you five or 10 bucks. They may not charge you anything except for the cost of shipping. So that's something nice that they do. Now, if you want to send in the frame and get the whole texture, the grip and everything redone, uh, you can send that in. They might charge you $25 uh, plus shipping. So it's really, you know, reasonable and inexpensive to have your gun freshened back up. Now, if they initially did your Cerakote work on your slide and you had some machining work done from them too, you can send in the slide and they'll refresh and or redo your Cerakote job for about $40. So very reasonable. Uh, you guys have been on the channel know we have a bunch of Mod 1 guns. They help us customize many of the guns that we do here on the channel. They do fantastic work. They are very reasonable on pricing and you will be hard pressed to find nicer people than you will find at Mod 1. So if you're really looking to have some really nice work done at a reasonable price, you know, you can't beat the people over at Mod 1 Firearms. So I'm going to show you guys a little closer aspect of some of the wear that we do have, and it's very minimal. So I'm going to go ahead and actually zoom in on the camera here and show you these index points. Now you can see where these have flattened out. And like I said, that's from basically being uh, holstered and unholstered so many times over the course or a little over a year now but uh, the grip texturing it really has held up very well um, I, we are really happy with the way that it held up there's the double undercut and you can see the texturing here on the trigger guard as well so it has really held up uh, very well you can see the index point there and then this is the other side of the grip frame here and you can see there's some little marks here where we've just rubbed up against stuff or hit stuff while we were carrying it but really it, it's held up really really well um, and then there's a little spot here where we have a little bit of wear uh, just right here uh, on the tip where it's just uh, the little sharp point there from the uh, the flat cut here you can see from being holstered and unholstered uh, so many times that it did start to show just a hint of wear right there, which is about normal with any gun that you're going to carry every day and being in and out of the holster as many times as this gun has been. So overall, we are extremely happy with this. Now, I did actually change the uh, battery on our RMR. Now, the batteries can last, you know, two years sometimes. But uh, a good habit to get into is to change the batteries on your birthday every year, uh, just so you always know that it's ready to go. So let's just go over some of the work once again. For you guys that haven't been here, I'll show you some of the stuff that's been done and what I really like about the, the work that they do. So my favorite cut on the any Glock is gonna be this, uh, bull nose cut here and what it does is it takes that squared cut and it just you know kind of gives a diagonal cut around there i really like the way that it changes the look of this gun um you know it, it completely changes it that cut that you see right there that is such a better look than the factory for me and then of course we have a large dish cut here in the top this uh, helps with weight weight reduction and we got a KKM precision barrel in here. Um, and then we also have some Ameriglow suppressor sights on the gun uh, to accommodate our RMR. So of course we had an RMR cut here um, in order to fit the RMR on there. Also, we have front serrations. And 
you can see uh, barrel cuts here as well. Now, one of the things that Mod One does that I have seen some other companies don't that don't do this is they actually do bevel these uh, little cuts right here, and that really it's stuff like that attention to detail that really makes the gun uh, pop, in my opinion. So I, I'm zoomed in there, and you can see that little bevel cut that they actually do. And there's a lot of other companies that just don't do that. So just, just attention to detail work. And like I said, they do really, really good work. Now inside of this gun, um, basically there's really nothing left of this gun that is Glock besides the uh, slide and the frame. You know, everything else internally we've basically swapped out on this gun. Now you don't have to do that, of course. Uh, when you get your gun, you can decide what you want done to yours. So, <clears throat> Of course, we have a custom trigger in here. We have the titanium pins in here as well. And I really like this cut here for the mag release. Um, this makes it really easy to get to that uh, magazine release. So uh, that relief cut there is very nice. I really do like that. That's one of the cuts they do as well. We have an extended slide release here. Of course, we did the indexing points. And I thought it was to do this over for a carry gun, I wouldn't do the indexing points again because they're, they're gonna flatten out and you know that's something that Mod One tells everybody before they do it if they request these. If it's a carry gun, you're gonna flatten them out so you'll have to send it in or refresh in it, uh, whatever the case may be. So on a carry gun, I probably wouldn't do this again. Now they do have a cut that they do on a diagonal right here and then they do uh, some texturing inside <clears throat> that uh, bevel cut or that uh, slant cut and that prevents them from getting flattened out by your holster because it's recessed. Now that's a very nice cut and you'll see that on one of my uh, Glock 17s that we're doing right now with Mod 1. So I'll be showing you guys that here in the near future. So we did get the double undercut as well and you can see this cut here and this allows you to get a higher grip up on the firearm and helps you to control the firearm and it also helps in uh, re, uh, recoil controllability and then right here is the second cut this is the double cut a lot of people ask what that's for what that is for is when you're going to take your grip when you roll that second hand in um, it allows you to get higher up on the trigger guard and it's stippled or textured under there which locks that hand in and allows you to get a really really uh, good grip on the gun and of course here on the back we have the Mod 1 uh, back cover, and these are all like deep laser engraved. Uh, they look really good. They have several different uh, back covers to choose from, to si uh, depending on you know what you want from your gun. So very nice there too. And these just aren't some of the ones like you see online that just have you know some painted on. Uh, insignia or whatever that's actually laser engraved into the uh, back plate itself and here on the bottom this is uh, from Bastion this is a mag plate that they did for us with our logo on it um, those guys make some really cool stuff if you want to just do some little customization stuff to your guns some mag base plates or uh, they have the uh, little uh, slide back plates and stuff like that too. So you can go check those guys out if you want to get something from them But really all in all guys this thing has been fantastic and you know as you can see from the uh, Video here the gun has worn very very well um, I'm extremely happy with how well it's worn uh, right there is like the only wear as far as the uh, frame is concerned and the sear coat and you can see the flattened out indexing points. Uh, the gun is just really ran really well. And we'll roll some footage in for you guys of us shooting the gun just a little bit. Um, I've been really happy with this gun. I could not recommend them uh, enough because like I said, they're just fantastic people to deal with. They do some of the best work in the industry in my opinion. And uh, they do it at a uh, what I believe is a reasonable cost, a very fair price to you guys. So that is the one-year update video. 
So let me show you a few of the holsters that we've been using with this gun just to show you some. We've used several to test the wear and this is the first one that I showed you. This is the uh, outside the waistband holster that I showed you from Cooks. This one's in a carbon fiber. Um, really, I mean, they hold the guns really well and uh, you can get multitudes of designs on these however you want them uh, to be. But uh, yeah, I've carried it in that holster quite a bit. And then here's another Cooks. This is an inside the waistband holster from them. Uh, this gun probably got, this holster actually probably got the most use. Um, I carried it quite a bit in this holster and uh, I just really like it. Like I said, they have very good uh, retention um, and of course it's adjustable here, but everything fits really well. Some holsters that you get will actually be too tight and that's where you get uh, wear from. If they're just too tight around uh, the gun, it's going to of course cause more wear because more friction. And then here's another one that we use quite often, uh, which this is just an NCOG. Um, really like this uh, from from G-Code. Really nice holster here. Really, uh, you know, you can carry this in in uh, appendix style, or you can also carry it uh, for inside the waistband at a three three thirty position, wherever you want, really. And you know, I'm a little bit bigger guy, so uh, appendix is not comfortable for me at all. I've tried it a few times; it is not for me, guys. But uh, I carry usually in the 3, 3 ish position, and uh, these work very well for me in that position as well. Now, all these holsters are cut for the RMR. Um, if you do get one of these, when you do order your holster, make sure you tell them. And uh, G-Code actually requires you to send a picture in of the gun so they can help uh, make sure it fits just perfectly. And as you can see, they did do a really good job, and it fits really nice and the same for cooks their stuff i mean you can see there they do a fantastic job on fitment here uh, with covering as much as the gun as possible without interfering with the rmr so they do a really good job of that as you can see so all in all guys uh somebody's going to ask so i'll go ahead and put it out there we've probably got somewhere between i would say 650 and 800 100 rounds through the gun um, and you can see the gun still looks really really good so I'm very happy and you know I may refresh it at some point and have them uh, refresh it may do a different color or something on it and uh, refresh my index points a little bit but very happy with it guys and I think you guys would be very happy with it as well but that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching we really do appreciate it don't forget to like share favorite and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video so if you're still here, maybe you'll enjoy some of our other videos. Hit the button on the left to take you to our previous video, and hit the button on the right to take you to a random video that we've done. All of our social media links are up at the top of the page, and don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.